Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. First of all I just apologize for not uploading tutorials for a while and I'm um, truly sorry about that so I'm just making up for that now but I'm just gonna let you know what I will be covering in the upcoming tutorials. I'm gonna be covering grenades, C4s, hand-to-hand -hand combat, throwing a gun away and pick it back up and um, something else I'm not gonna mention yet but something really cool you like. Also Today's tutorial is going to be heavily focused on our ray shoot script. Now I'm going to explain why. If you look at it at the moment, it only focuses, I would say, 110% on the M4. Now the reason for that is because that's the only gun I have for the tutorial series at the moment. I am hard at work trying to get different animations for different guns. So eventually I add that into the ray shoot script. But saying that, that's what we're going to cover today. We need to actually add some classes to our ray shoot script. Because we're going to be working with different things here. We're going to be working with C4. We're going to be working with grenades. We're going to also be working with um, throwing your guns away and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now the way hand-to-hand -hand combat is going to work is a separate pair of arms. Now that's not the final way. I can tell you that right now. So as you can see over here, you can see the M4. And I was saying in the script we're going to add hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now at the moment I have a hidden pair of hands over here. With arms that are in a fist position. Now if I turn this main object off and run it, you're going to see it's going to go straight into the fist mode. Okay, it's not scripted yet. I've deleted everything, so I can show you now. And there's a problem right there. I can sh uh, if you could see that. Oh, I'll do that again. I'm in the fist position right now, hand to hand, as they say. And I can still fire my gun. Okay, that's strange. And uh, that's the problem right now. Because the free shoot script only focuses on the M4, we actually have to change that in order to make the hand to hand and the grenades to work. So, first thing, let's open our ray shoot script. Alright, and if you look at it at the moment, it only fires the gun. It has a simple attack mode attached to it. And um, I'm sure that still works. Let me just quickly check something before I do continue. Oops, gotta chain the gun. Alright, that one. If you remember this, if you haven't seen this, I recommend you go watch the tutorial first. I'll put in the link below because you might get confused otherwise. So, that was a basic gun buckle animation, but the hand to hand is more in depth than this. Alright. Back to where I was. Okay, so yeah, we had this part which is basically worked for the M4, which made it fire, and the ray shoot function, which made the ray cast and the damage system, which applied it to objects and also bullet effects. Now, the problem is, as I was saying before, this script is only focused on the M4. How do we tell it to focus on? different objects. Now if you guys remember one of my first tutorials which was mouse look script I believe in that I covered something called enum. If you don't know what that is please go watch uh, my first tutorial it's explaining that and that's what we're going to be using today. We can have a list inside of enum and make separate little items in there and name them considering what we're going to have in the players list so it may sound kind of confusing right now, but I'm just going to show you what to do. So the first thing you want to do is you put public enum. Um, I'm going to call this gun manager. Okay, and I'm going to start adding the little items it's going to store for us. So. In order to do that, you put the open curly brace and the closing curly brace. Now you might not be able to see that, so I'm going to zoom the code in a bit. Alright, that's more than a bit, so there you go. Inside this, we're going to make the list. So what are we going to have for our tutorial series? Well, first of all, M4, obviously it's there, so when I have it, that's going to be the first item on our list, which is going to be equal to zero. The next one is going to be C4 for me, so C4, I'm going to put that as 2, sorry 1. The next one is going to be 
hand to hand. That's going to be equals to two. And the last one is going to be equals to. Uh, think of a good name. Oops. I'm just going to call this throw gun. All right. So yeah, makes sense. And that's going to be the third one. Now the fourth one is going to be grenade, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to leave that to the very end. So for now, that should be okay. Just bring this closing curly brace back up here. So that closes that. Perfect. Now the problem right now is if you go back in Unity and click on the ray shoot script, you can see that the enum is not visible to us. So we want to make a wearable that will allow us to see it. So we're going to say var gun select manager. Okay, and it's going to be equals to all the properties located inside a gun manager. So gun manager dot m4 is the first item. Or, which are the two lines, if you don't know where that's located, that's on the left hand shift and it's the button right next to it on the windows and the Mac, I think it's second key next to the return button. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's that. And then the next item, which is gun manager dot C4. Then the next one dot hand to hand. And the last one we have in at the moment is gun manager dot throw gun. Super. So closing semicolon. Save. Now if you go back into Unity, you can see it's updating. And right there, hey presto, we can see it. Now, this third issue. I'm so press escape to bring my mouse back. Okay. If I shoot and if you look at the class at the moment, it says gun select managers equals to C4. Now in this case, the gun should not be able to fire. But what happens? Yep. We can still shoot. We want to prevent that now, okay? So by selecting the right class, certain things will happen. And the code's going to go through and see what class is selected and what it's supposed to do within that class area. So if I go back into the script and go into our update function, and just above if key time equal equals zero, you're going to put if open bracket close bracket open curly brace, go all the way down to this if statement, which was the gun buckle attack, and put the closing semicolon down here. Now in this if statement please follow this really carefully we're gonna say gun select manager it's gonna be equals equals to gun manager dot m4. Now you may be thinking okay why are you doing that for? It makes no sense. Well we just told the script Hey, listen, in order for our M4 to work, it has to be within the right class. So if it's equals to M4, we can fire our gun. Other than that, if it's equal to C4 or something else, don't do anything. So if I go back into Unity now and let it update, you can see it's selected C4 at the moment. So if I run the game and try and shoot, this is what's going to happen nothing as you can see this is what I wanted to achieve so as you can see I can't shoot okay but if I go and select M4 now what happens I can shoot again that's what I wanted now as you can see if I select hand to hand for example again what I want now is if I select this I want uh, this object to suddenly just go off and then I want hand to hand to come on just like this and then you're going to the fist mode and whatnot. So yes, now that we've got that out of the way, we can actually move on to the hand-to-hand -hand next. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.